Hello, everybody. How's how's chat doing this fine day? Oh no, now I'm not showing. Now the game's not showing on the god. <sighs> uh... <laughs> there we go. Either I can see it on my TV, or okay, now it seems to be working. Let's just go with that. Hi. This is Game & Watch Gallery 2. Technically, Mr. Game & Watch is a is a video game uh, that exists. So we're gonna d d play it. Yeah, so there's classic and modern Game & Watch. Ooh. I love Sonic Generations. Yeah, so, um, yeah, look at how hard... This is this is the this is the Game and Watch Gallery, which is just a GBA collection of all the different Game and Watch games. So we're gonna waste your life with this for about a half an hour before we um, go to play something else. But Stefan, why don't you tell everybody why we're why we're here today? Well, we are here to raise money for the uh, Diabetes Research Institution. Which uh, to help with what 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 the name suggests is raising money and awareness for uh, diabetes and helping uh, to find a cure uh, and, and assist people who are dealing with it. It is something that a lot of people, especially people that people that watch the stream and people that we know personally have dealt with or are dealing with. So it's like very important to kind of look over and uh, help and assist in and spread the word. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. So. Um... Every donation you make helps. We've got several bid wars uh, and raffle stuff that you can donate to um, so that your money also goes to selfish things as well as not selfish things. So you can, like, balance up your cra karma in crap. Whatever. Everybody knows the neutral ending's the best one, right? Um, so today we have specifically the NES Zapper raffle prize and also... Um, we have the Amiibo Bundle, um, uh, which is the $15 raffle prize, and the Switch Raffle, which is the, uh, $25 raffle prize. Um, is Fire Emblem Warriors the only bid war that ends, like, today? No, there's Fire Emblem Warriors, which ends right, uh, when Catherine starts it, uh, around, I think, 6, 6 or 7 p.m.-ish, and then... Uh, at the very end, once she's done, the Castlevania bid race will conclude, which currently, uh, currently, uh, what do you call it? Uh, uh Rondo of Blood is winning. Uh, Rondo of Blood? Okay, so you folks need to, um, donate to the, you need to donate to the, I don't know what, a, uh, to Super Castlevania, because... Damn, I'm bad. Uh, because that game's better. Because it, it has real big boy controls. So so we kind of skipped over it, but we, you were playing Ball. And it's like, yeah. isn't technically Ball... Ball is, like, the first Nintendo video game ever, right? yes. Yeah. We kind of unceremoniously ignored... We, we skipped over the best Nintendo video game ever. Yeah, there's also, like, modern versions of some of, the, of these games. And, um... Uh, the classic actual Game & Watch. So, like, if we go to... We'll do easy mode for classic. So this is what it actually looked like. Yeah, actually, I actually... Uh, I haven't... Uh, I really want to play some of the... I really want to play these, like, Game & Watch galleries because I think it's such a cool idea is that, oh, you can play the original, like, exact Game & Watch, like... Uh, the uh, uh, machines on these cartridges, but then they also have remakes of it, which is like, oh, they're those mini games as like actual modern games, and yeah. it's like, uh, yeah, like for like this Donkey Kong was on a machine that like was basically an original DS, which is why DS. it looks ugly as sin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, trying to run a DS game on a Game Boy Color. Yeah, look at, wait the, wait the fu the, the wait. Oh wait, is it the B the B button changes what screen you're looking at? Oh, okay. This is this is terrible. Okay, we're not we're not doing this one in uh in classic mode. We're doing it in modern mode where they came up with the idea of screen scrolling. It also controls much better in modern mode. I I should uh I say as I die. Um that didn't happen. 
Uh, because you can actually, like, move faster. There's still, like, the very, like, clunky Game & Watch you only move in spurts kind of controls, but it's definitely smoother feeling than, um, the, than if you're playing it on Classic, which I suppose makes sense. Also, we're saving Peach instead of, um, Pauline, Pauline. so I guess that's, that's cool. And there's, wait, there's Koopa Troopas? What? This is a weird-ass game. Anyway, uh, Stefan, did we get any donations between... Uh, yeah, we did. Oh, you uh, can't jump there? What? Oh, no. Uh, first, uh, $15 from, uh, Brisbane, uh, Valcazar, no comment. Thank you. And, um, $5 from Mitzi Rocker, one for the Zapper Raffle. Thank you. So our total is, uh, 7,606. 7,606, yeah. I, uh, we can absolutely get to 8K before the end of the day, so let's see if we can try to, let's see if we can try to make that happen. Um, oh wait, you can go right there? The hell kind of game is this? Alright. <laughs> um, the next bid war, not bid war, sorry. Incentive game, if I remember correctly, is, um... Kirby Tilt and Tumble. Kirby Tilt and Tumble. On the Game Boy Color. Which, in order to record footage for, Catherine will have to, um, hold her GameCube upside down. So that will be fun. Like, she'll have to play it on the GameCube player... Game Boy player, holding the GameCube physically upside down. Which is... Ow. Okay, we're done with this one, because uh, clearly I cannot play video games. Alright. Yeah. Uh, okay, Stefan, why don't you pick the next one? Parachute Helmet, sh F, or Vermin? Uh, go, go with, go with Parachute, because I know a lot of people, a lot of people know Parachute from the Game & Watch, uh, Game & Watch Zone. Okay, uh, let's do Clash Shuffle. Card, yeah. Yeah. yeah! Yeah! I can't I mean, understand why this character never caught on. I mean, you say that, but uh, but it's funny that, I mean, I'm basically just going to repeat what uh, what Scott Scott the Waz said in his video, but, like, it's funny to think about how, just how, like, genuinely good Nintendo's LCD games really are, especially considering the absolute shit of LCD games that pretty much every other company tried to I tried to create. Oh it's my like, god! Like, oh Jesus Christ! Uh, murder! Did you see uh, that? He got hit by the shark. Did you and see that? Is laughing. But did you see he like gets torn under and like and like eaten a lot? Damn. There's so much detail, like he even they even get stuck in the trees at some point. It's like there's that's that that's like so much detail. Yeah, but like look at him, he's getting like torn apart into pieces. Uh... What the hell, miss? I thought this game was rated E for everyone. <laughs> no, the ratings didn't exist yet. This port's rated E for everyone. <laughs> You 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 think you think uh you you think the ES ESRB actually played this game? Oh oh okay so they're not bleeding so it's fine. <laughs> the, it's the, also the, the, surprisingly the... ominous having the shark like swim around ev from time to time. Like, is this the first horror video game? I'm trying to remember when, when did this did this came up? Was this early '80s? Uh, the first Game and Watch was 1980. Yeah. Okay, so this was after Jaws. Yeah. Wait, Jaws was in the '70s? Yeah, Jaws yeah, that, was like '75. Yeah. Okay, that sounds that sounds right. For some reason, I had it in my mind that it was an '80s movie, but you know, just thinking about it, that it doesn't make sense. It is the first. It, it's the first blockbuster because then, like two years later, was Star Wars. Ah, no! Murder! Shark murder! 
I'm trying to like think. Uh, oh no, yeah, th- this game. This game was a launch title for the Game Boy Color. I know that. Uh, yeah, because the what's the best way to show off the color capabilities of our new system? Well, how about games that existed purely in black and white? Yeah, fucking genius. The game, the, the Game Boy Color was weird. Yeah, it was like treated like its own console, even though it really wasn't. Because there's the number of notable games you can play only on Game Boy Color can really only be played on like one can really only be counted on like one hand there's like pokemon crystal which even then is a port of uh gold and silver which can be played on the original game boy um i remember actually my cousin um when gold and silver first came out it came out like i think like october or september it came out in the early fall and as a kid I only ever got new video games for my birthday, which is in April, and Christmas. So, uh, my cousin had Gold and Silver, which was, like, the game I wanted more than anything else in the world um, at that point. Um, and I didn't. So, he had he had also, my cousin also had both Gold and Silver, the lucky asshole. But he, I, I visited his house, and he let me play Gold on the original Game Boy, like his black and white one for a little while and I was like whoa why isn't everything red because I was used to playing Pokemon red also my sister got Pokemon silver because her birthday is at the beginning of December so she got it a month before I did and taunted me the entire month about having like the one thing I wanted more than anything else in the world yeah, I feel that, and then and then you're just like, but you don't even like Pokemon. She um uh, she she did like Pokemon. It was 2001, so everybody liked Pokemon, but she certainly wasn't nearly as into it as I was. Yeah, and um she kind of dropped it pretty soon after. Yeah, like, that's pretty much the same thing like with my sister. Yeah, um, I'm trying to think. Like, she definitely was not into Pokemon by the time Ruby and Sapphire came out for sure. And I, I just realized that uh, technically the Game Boy and Game Boy Color did first what the Xbox what 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 the Xbox Series X is doing. Yeah, where they can play all the old and the Game Boy Advance too, to some to some extent. Um, well, I mean, well, I mean the difference is well the Game Boy Advance couldn't well the Game Boy Advance couldn't play like uh, you couldn't play Game Boy Advance games on an Xbox like on an. Uh, oh, I, I oh Color. I see what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, but like you. But, but pretty much all of the Xbox Series X games you can play on Xbox One. Yeah, it's just like the Game Boy Color, you can see color with them versus... Uh, I guess Pokemon Yellow did that uh, Did that too. But I'm trying yeah. to think of like truly notable Game Boy Color games. The only one that I can think of off the top of my head is Shantae. Um, and the that's Oracle most... Games. The um the Oracle games were Game Boy Color only. Yeah, I believe the Oracle games were completely Game Boy Color, and but like Link's Awakening DX, you could play you could play Link's Awakening DX on a regular Game Boy. How are you supposed to do the color dungeon then? I don't know, but yeah, I'm pretty sure that I'm pretty sure that one you can play on a regular Game Boy. Okay. But yeah, or but yeah, Oracle games definitely you were only. Uh... Yeah, there you, were. You I, I could have sworn in Scott's video about Game Boy Color, he mentioned she like he had a like a, an off mention saying like, oh, and you can play this on the regular Game Boy. What's the point? Yeah, the Color Gun Dungeon is optional. That's what. Okay, well, I mean, still, imagine you you get Link's Awakening for your normal Game Boy, and you're trying to do this dungeon, which is completely impossible because. <laughs> oh God, although I imagine if you're color like if you're actually color blind it's probably hard to do that dungeon too but they didn't really think about um those sorts of things when making games it's only uh back then they only like recently started thinking about games things like that for making games mo- in the modern day like i remember uh being surprised when they announced a colorblind mode for splatoon 1 when that game was first released and i was like oh that's very that's very forward thinking of them because I guess it's just not a community that you if you're not colorblind you generally just don't think about it that much but it's mm-hmm. a it's an important thing to kind of consider this poor asshole stuck in a tree 
Uh, also, uh, what is it? Uh, uh, Deluxe, Mario Deluxe. That one was Game Boy Color exclusive, uh, I believe. Super Mario Deluxe is an amazing game, for the record. Like, Mario Deluxe is actually one of my favorite Mario games of all time, and I think probably the best way to play the original Super Mario Brothers, if I had to, if I had to pick one, even over like the All Stars port and stuff like that. Did you ever play? Uh, what the hell? Jesus, that that shark animation just is <laughs> terrifying. <laughs> yeah, still uh, still surprised there was no left-handed mode from Skyward Sword and to a lesser extent Twilight Princess. Oh yeah, that's well. I guess Twilight Princess. It doesn't really matter too much because you can swap the the way the the Wiimote works. You can hold one in each hand and it doesn't really matter. I guess it's like a little weird if you're left-handed and Link is swinging the sword in his right hand, but it's certainly not like game-changing, I think. I would Skyward Sword, I think would probably be really weird to play if you're left-handed because that game requires some relatively precise motion controls if I remember correctly, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right, uh, Wario Land 3, I believe, was Game Boy Color exclusive, but Wario Land 2 you can play on Game Boy and Game Boy Color. Okay. I've only played a little bit of the Wario Land games on Game Boy Color, and I couldn't really get into them, but Wario Land 4 is a good game. Yeah, uh, I, I I haven't played 2 or 3 yet, but I have played 1, Virtual Boy, and 4, and, all those, and Shake It, and all those are great. Did you play Virtual Boy on a real Virtual Boy? No. I, I haven't seen a... I want to play on a real Virtual Boy so badly, but I haven't found anybody who has a, who has one. Wait, so I'm, I'm supposed to, like, dodge the things and get him into the house, right? Yeah. Yeah, you're supposed to get them to the house. Okay. Uh, and we got a new donation. Ooh. Uh, $10 from Virtua Kazuma. Hey, Ted and Stefan, put this toward Rondo of Blood because Richter is best Belmont. Also, I want to thank Ted for getting me into Dragon Quest since it is a great JRPG to get into. Thank you. I'm glad you're enjoying it because Dragon Quest is the shit. $10 to Rondo. That brings Rondo up to 120 uh, How much is Super Castlevania 4 at? Uh, seventy-six. Okay, we we need to we need to put some money towards. Oh, oh damn it! He's about guy... forty. He's about forty-five dollars. Forty-five dollars. Come on, we can we can do that, right? Also, theme of Simon Belmont is the most underrated Castlevania theme of all time. So we need to hear more of more of that. And some other bid war updates. Uh. World is currently winning the All Stars Plus at 170 versus Lost Levels 155. Oh wow, World really um, yeah. got Came some in. support. Yeah. yeah, because I remember uh, when I went to bed last night, Mario 2 and Mario um, Mario Lost Levels were the only ones in real competition for that. For that. Um, fuck the dragon is still with 56 uh, versus save the princess is 35. Okay, we need to save the princess. There's so much good dialogue if you if you save the princess in Dragon Quest. Yeah, you, you should save the princess because then you get because you, then you get more game. You got to get more gameplay out of it. Well, uh, I mean, prime, you technically yeah. don't. Okay, we're gonna switch to a different. We're gonna try chef. Um, we'll try easy classic first. Um, so, um. You never really have to save the princess before because um, if you know where the thingy is, I don't know what the name for the thingy is, the Erdrix token, um, you never need to, like, save her. But if you do save her, there's a lot of really good dialogue because she, um, you hold her in her arms and lots of characters have different... Um, reactions to certain things depending on if you're holding her from like the final boss to certain npcs it's really i just think it's really amusing mm -hmm. to to fight the final boss one-handed holding a princess in your arm <laughs> like that's pretty great i also uh, really badly need to actually practice the dragon quest race because i've been slacking on that 
But I also am doing Kid Icarus tomorrow, so I'm probably going to spend my free time tonight um, practicing Kid Icarus, because that is also a game I am not very good at. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Uh um, Brandon, for context, fuck the dragon is basically don't save the princess, but I call it fuck the dragon for the lulz. Yeah, they, you do not actually have intercourse with the dragon. Um, although, by the time you get to be a high enough level in the game, you effectively start, like, steamrolling the dragon because of the way that the uh, speedrun goes for Dragon Quest 1. Um, I'm not going to spoil it too mu much, because if you've never seen the speedrun for the original Dragon Quest, um, it's actually really funny. So I'm going to leave some of those stuff uh, for for surprises. But and also do not ever... have sex with the dragon. That fucking little r rat with his... Jesus Christ, wow. And the other bid war is Prime 2 is dominating at $1,351. With Damn. Prime 1 at 625 uh, uh, So it... Prime 1's a... 500 bucks behind again? Oh, uh, so... Like, more like 800 bucks. 800 bucks? Jesus yeah. Christ. Wow. Uh, you... Advanced 2 and Advanced 3 are fairly close. Advanced 2 with 280 versus Advanced 3 is 245. Okay, uh, but we could play Advanced 1, though, which is a good game. No, that, that, that's only got 20. So... Uh, like, Advanced 1's like one of the only Sonic games I'll, I would be like, okay, yeah, I'll play that these days. Advanced one is probably like the easiest to jump in at random points because it's it's the it's the simplest of all of them. I have and not then, played Advanced three probably since I was twelve years old. Um, I really love Advanced. I answer I like the most, but it is like it is more of a time sink that you got to get into because it, it, it it's like a three D Sonic game in two D. That's kind of what I always refer to as. Uh, my favorite thing. Oh, Go you ahead. keep on going with the bid wars. Pac-Man World 2 is winning with $30, $39 versus World 1's 25 Twin Snakes is still dominating at 145 versus Solid 1's 30 uh, For Persona 5 Dancing, uh, Haru is has the major lead at, 150, at $115. And Mario Party has Mario Party 6 with 260 with Mario Party 2 at 225 Not too close. Not, not too far behind. I don't know. I think that the choices for the Mario parties were just the, the ones that the... The ones they owned, yes. Yeah. So, I would personally be rooting for three if that was an option, but I don't think it is. Yeah, it, no, the only options are uh, two, five, six, eight, and super. It is kind of sad that five has absolutely zero... Because five is the one I have like the most nostalgic connection for, but I also say six is objectively the best of those two, so that's uh, why I'm glad that one's winning. Between five and six, yeah, uh, six su surprised me uh, when I when I played. Wait, what the hell's up with Yoshi's face? Yosh, he's pissed. What did uh, he do? We 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 found out about his taxes. Now he's angry. Yeah, but why is he like? Wait. So hold the but hold the phone. Are we supposed to burn the sausage? Cause like if you bounce it enough times, look, it's burnt. Or oh wait, it just falls on the ground. Like is that what we want to have happen? I'm really confused here. I don't think Princess Peach is a very good chef. Oh no, she's mad about. Uh, the numbers are jump. The numbers are going up, so I feel like you're doing it correctly. Yeah, but we're burning the food. That's not how you do it. Miss. Oh, we're supposed to feed the Yoshi. What? Oh, I get it. We're supposed to cook it and then not dr and then let him eat the the food. Okay, so. Okay, Yoshi, come over here and eat it. Yoshi! Big Yosh. Oh, wait, I see now. Okay, you're supposed to... Turning the... Turning Princess Peach moves Yoshi. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, I understand. Also, Ted in the dis uh, did smooth uh, smoothies in the Discord. Why you no fit the footage to the overlay? So I tried okay. to fit the footage to the overlay. It didn't. What do you want me to to like stretch it? Yeah, so, I, I don't want. To. Uh, uh, hold on, hold on. I, I mean, can try. You, to I don't think you. I can, you don't have to, but it's I like can a try. Answer. Okay, so I. It's. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I, I'd say don't worry about stretching it because it's just gonna like. I don't know how to. I don't know how to stretch it. Like I don't know how to make it all stretchy. Um, you, you you go into free transform. You can you go into free transform and you stretch up like you only stretch the top and bottom. I don't know how to do that in XSplit because oh, that's, I don't yeah. know. I don't know how to use XSplit. This is an OBS house. But yeah, oh. it's fine. Don't actually worry about it. He's. It's just it's it's smoothies being smoothie. Smoothies should smooth his movies. He's just like I put so much work and effort into these overlays. You're gonna use them correctly. Which to be fair, he did, and now he's gonna have to make more once once we reach our 10k goal. And by make more, you more. mean copy paste the ones we originally have, just um change one number i mean it's it's still like a lot that he gotta do it for so. i know i i just <laughs> steven has done so much work for this marathon and really should be everybody needs to send their thank yous to steven oh okay. uh, yeah big yosh yeah so he gets like smaller as if he if you eat him if you feed him burned food I noticed ah god Yoshi no. your tongue stretches can't you just like die for it but <laughs> bring bop bring gabbity gabbity goo don't you gabbity gabbity goo me mister Luigi. Ooh, God. And also, our update, it, it's, it's 7,616. Ah, uh, yeah, 616. We, we are in Marvel up in here. Oh, so he laid an egg, which is good, I think. Do you have to feed the egg? <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> I don't want to pick up the fish. Grr. The sprite work in these modern versions of the games, though, is really good. Yeah, they're, 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 there's such a nice charm to the, the, this Game Boy Color aesthetic. Yeah. I think someone mentioned it, that there's like about a hundred games that only work on Game Boy Color. Oh, that's actually more than I thought. Oh, oh, you gotta feed another Yoshi. But yeah, I, I, I felt like it thinks because there are more... Quote unquote, there are like, I think over, like, there's, there's like several hundred Game Boy Color games, but a lot of them work on the Game Boy uh, as well. But there's only about a hundred that only work on Game Boy Color. Oh, and now so, we yeah. can get a heart! Oh, uh, so you, you, gotta, you get a life. Oh, okay. Yeah, oh. so you saved, uh. Oh, it's burned. Get rid of it. No. You fed so it. So Yoshi oh, can eat the burned one. It looks like it's just you get less points. Right. Technically, actually, hold on a moment. I think Yoshi can eat the raw food. This is easier. Yeah. I think I think the only difference is that he doesn't he probably doesn't grow. Yeah, I mean, but Hello. still, this is this is way easier. Yeah, you eat all this raw <laughs> food, Yoshi. Hello. Stefan, oh, did you hear that? Vomit. Did you hear that weird I, noise, Stefan? I hear it. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's strange, right? Cup a cup. Yeah, Ryan's saying uh, you you get more points if the if they're cooked and he grows. 
the eye. Let's see if we, how much left you got, vermin. Oh, I have to. It's not Quatherin, actually. <laughs> Is it Catherine? Are you Catherine? Catherine's not supposed to be in this stream. Are you uh, a she's doctor? actually probably supposed to be at work right now, all things considered. I mean, technically, I'm also working, but. <laughs> I, I have a day off. I don't have off. to leave the house. I, I, I was originally going to take off work today in order to do this, but then they were like, uh, it's actually a civic holiday today. So I'm like, okay, free money. What Canadian holiday is it? I don't think it's a, like, an, it's not an actual holiday. It's like once every month, like the, the government like sets aside a day where it's like, oh, like people who work for, uh, like the people who work for certain like organization stuff, they don't need to, they, they don't, they take that day off. So I wish yeah. I lived in a country yeah, where my government cared about me. I wish I was Canadian. <laughs> I know why you wish you was Canadian. Okay, son. Yes, mom. <laughs> okay, so... Stefan is ba Babby, I get that, but Caro's also 12, so... I don't know if I can. Oh no! Well, if if Carol's twelve, then that would I be like ten? Goo goo gaga. Or I like eight. I think. Hmm. I'm not sure. I mean, like, I, I I can't go back to my high school because every time I go back to my high school, all of the all of the fifteen year olds are all either my size or taller than me, and I get really damn conscious. So I'm like, God. Yeah, Ryan, you can come in if you want. We need need some more cranky old men to to deal with the kitties. Hey, look! It's his it's his down smash. Yeah, I know what the the people want. Mister Game and Watch. You see, you can tell which Game and Watches were made like first, because this one very clearly is just like a reused calculator screen, whereas yeah. like the parachute one we did. Um, had, like, way more production value on it. Wait, so I wasn't here for early in the stream. How are you playing these games? A uh, Game Boy player on the Game & Watch gallery. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. I had a brief heart attack yesterday because I couldn't find my Game Boy player disc, but, um, which is probably worth a lot of money now, now that I'm thinking about it, because, um, Game Boy player discs are, ex um, getting harder and harder to find by the day. Right. Yeah, we we were talking about that. Uh, where it's like, yeah, game. I think I think Kevin mentioned about how he got a Game Boy player off of somebody, and then it's like, oh, the Game Boy he got, he was able to get it for a really good price, and I think either he got the Game Boy uh, player disc with it, or he had to get it elsewhere. But he was like, oh, I ended up getting the player itself for free, so like it didn't really matter because it's like, oh yeah, it was super rare. Because yeah, it is like one of the rarest. The actual disc is hard to find. You can get the player relatively easily. Yeah, cause you need the disc to make it run. Yeah. Although you can, yeah, you you can take off the you can take out the disc when when once the game actually starts. Yeah, because the whole thing runs on the system's uh, RAM, if I remember correctly. <laughs> Which is of course because because they're like, wait a minute, if you're gonna play tilt and tumble, then aren't you gonna destroy the disc? <laughs> it's like, yes, Catherine, sacrifice your sacrifice your disc. For, for charity. Riveting, isn't it? Um, did either of you two ever get the Game & Watch collection on uh, DS? Nope. 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 Okay. Uh, that, that, was, that was after I started uh, Club Nintendo, so I didn't get a chance, chance to pick it up. It is, to this day, the only decent thing they've ever released in the States. Nope, uh, the Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask soundtrack, which I did get, and that, that was They great. released a soundtrack in the West? That yeah, surprises they did, me. They did an Ocarina of Time 3D soundtrack, and then the year after that, they did a Majora's Mask one. And that was, like, free for people who were, like, I think, Platinum. So I, I was able to get that. It was so don't cool. Don't remember that. Wow. I mean... And the great and it, it, and it was free shipped, like, because I was like, oh, it's gonna, I'm probably gonna have to pay, like, sh shipping across Canada, but it was like, nope, it was free. 
I, uh, they, they, the yearly rewards have been decent. Um, I still have the Mario statue that they sent mm. out one year, but yeah. the actual... Did you get that one? Me? Yeah. Uh, no, no I was just saying, I, I miss Club Nintendo. <laughs> I miss Japanese miss Club Wars. Nintendo, where they got, <laughs> like, the Mario Galaxy soundtracks and all sorts of other cool stuff. U.S. And, Club and... Nintendo was pretty lame. And they they got a reproduction of Ball. That was one of the things you could get on that Club Nintendo. Is like a reproduction of the Ball Game and Watch. Wow. Oh, okay. And uh, was oh I got I got the the three DS case that like that, that you could hold all your games in there. It was a Zelda one, and that that was really that's really useful. Oh um, games. I do have the they sent out some tote bags. I remember. I have a Pikmin one and a Mario one that are that I still use to this day because they're they're pretty nice. Oh, uh, you also get the Hanafuda cards. Oh, I did get the Hanafuda cards, but I still don't know how to actually play Hanafuda. I feel like my I feel like my uh, my grandmother would know how to play that because she kind of plays like a similar type of games with like some with our with like Italian playing cards though uh, we have. Are those different from normal playing cards? They're kind of the same. Like it, it's like they're different designs, but like like I know like with the Hanafuda cards, they have like symbols that kind of represent numbers and such. So it's like you could probably play like Go Fish with Hanafuda cards. It's just you have to recognize like what each symbol like represents. Okay, but so yeah, I know that. But like Italian playing cards, are they like two through ten, then Jack, Queen, Ace, King, or yeah, but yeah, there's just there's just there's just different symbols that represent like Jack, Kings, and the numbers. Okay, like yeah, like instead of like clubs, spades, there's like swords, uh, and like stuff like that. Yeah, it's just all different symbols. <laughs> Raise your hand if you remember the Wii Mini trick. What Wii Mini trick? A Wii Mini trick? It sounds familiar, but I'm blanking on uh, what exactly that's referencing. People uh, in the 80s had way lower standards. <laughs> well, that was like the, the whole story was that the guy who made the game and watch was he, he was watching somebody on a train just literally fuck around with his calculator. So he's like, hmm. Why don't we do something for like people, bored people on trains to uh, mess around with? So it's like, oh, game and watch it. Like it kept your time, and you could screw around with the game while you're waiting and see the time. Was that Gunpei Yokoi? Did he make the game? And I watch? believe that was Gunpei Yokoi who came up with the idea. He had like that man was actually a genius. He had so many. He was responsible for so many different things for Nintendo. I I would love I I would love to own a real Ultra Hand because that that looks legitimately cool. I want to I want to play with that. One of my regrets is not getting the Ultra Hand we wear. Uh, I have I got that. Is it good? Not really. It's oh. just it, 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 it it's it's a novelty. It's just kind of like hey, you can play this game. That's like not that many people play, but it's nothing special. It, ah. it, it, it's an eighty coin. Like it was like eighty coins. So it's like it's basically a oh. I think right right before the Club Nintendo shut down, I had like like hundred coins left. So I'm like, yeah, literally, why 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 not? I yeah. got the high score, man. We got a couple Good new job. donations. Got a couple new donations. Five dollars from Mick Yeager. But Ted, you can't redefine the word Armageddon with a ch with, with a Chow in advance one. Put this towards Wait. advance two. Wait, what? I think he's talking about how like the. Out here, you can't redefine the word Armageddon with a chow in advance one. I don't know what that means. I think he's talking about how, like, oh, you can't, you can't mess around with chow in advance one, so that that doesn't make it the best. I think that's what he's talking about. But he put it towards advance two. Uh, Mr. L gives us five dollars. I love you, Mr. L. Uh, the octopus and the giant octopus game and watch game always scared me as a kid. In the first Game & Watch gallery, you can see it squeezing Mario to death. Put this towards Rondo of Blood as I feel the alternate paths for a more interesting race. And $100 from Derek MK. Chicken Hoppage, Chia Buddy. Those are all, these are all words. Put this towards Lost Levels for All-Stars. Chicken Hoppage, Chia Buddy. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm very confused at the moment because 
I got this game used, obviously. So, I guess we unlocked Modern Ball? Cool. Oh hell yeah, let's play Ooh. Modern Ball. I mean, we gotta play the modern version of the very first Nintendo game. I posted a hint for this game. <laughs> cool, thanks! Yosh! Uh, oh god. Oh, okay, so the, the spoons are like... Huh, alright. Wow, I am garbage at Modern Ball. Alright, we're not gonna we're not gonna play that one anymore. I guess it's if you are if you're better at the if you get better at the game. Oh, if you press up then you unlock very hard mode. Okay, that's what it is. Okay. Oh no. Oh, and you can get coins. Okay. Why is he... Oh, no, that's a Koopa Troopa. For a moment, I was like, why is that... That's a really weird-looking Koopa Troopa. Yeah, why is that Koopa Troopa trying to murder us? It looks like... Yo and yeah, it looks like... Yo it looks like the Yoshi with, with the wings in from World. It does look like the Yoshi with the, with the wings. This is a strange game. Is the coin sound just the Game Boy startup ding? It sounds kind of like it. Fun fact, if you die with less than 100 points and restart this game, you play as Wario instead. Hold on, let's try that. Die with less than 100 points and restart. Okay. 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 Did they really not expect anybody to? Oh my God! It's r that's right. Look at that. Look at the the that asshole. Oh hey, yeah, Wario. Wah! Wah! That's a goal. Wah! What a random Wah. Easter egg. <laughs> Red Wario. <laughs> Red Wario. My right next to Green Luigi. What's uh, next, by the way? Uh, Stairfax um, 2. Stairfax 2, okay. The Stair game the game that wasn't, but then became. It's so weird to me that Star Fox 2 is a game that actually exists now. Yes. And it's coming up next. <laughs> it's coming up next? Yes, next. Next. Only, next. On, only on Cartoon Network. <laughs> Actually, not on Cartoon Network. On Nickelodeon. It's not Teen Titans Go, so... <laughs> on Disney XD? No, no, no. The Toon Disney. Let's throw it back, back more. Ah, uh, Toon Disney. Toon Disney. Nick Jr. <laughs> Nick Jr. Hey, not guys! Disney. It's Face! I remember Face! I love Face! I have a... Because uh, I, I lost, pre uh, I ended up losing pretty much all of my, the VHSs that I had growing up because they were like all given away due to like an accident. But the ones that I did that we ended up keeping, what well, was well, accidentally keeping, was this load of Blue's Clues VHSs. So I've just got a pack of Blue's Clues VHSs just in the corner. Okay, I saw, <clears throat> I saw someone mention PBS Kids in chat. But when I was a kid, the mascot from PPS Kids used to scare the shit out of me. <laughs> so I wouldn't want to watch PPS Kids for a while because of that. Uh, but I uh, love Arthur. Uh, so. Art Artomu, uh, remember Mighty Machines? I have a Mighty Machines VHS right here as well. You need to I watch know. it on your on your. T <laughs> I gotta say, Stefan, loading up the Tube TV to play Duck Hunt was amazing <laughs> i would i was like you know what this is the only this is like the only time this would be appropriate so yes i'm gonna do it and it was it was fun it was it was the best possible is the best possible way i could do duck hunt and i ended it off watching pokemon 3 sure you did oh wait if you feed him burnt food does he does he shrinks, sh yeah. he shrinks okay that little angry... Okay, hold on. That little angry peach face. 
needs to be an emote somewhere. Because, like, look at her up there. She's like, Grrr! The face when kidnapped again. <laughs> <laughs> Only kids' shows I recall are Thomas, Bob, Dora, and Teletubbies. Bob the Builder? Yeah, probably. I had a brother... I Well, I mean, had. My brother was obsessed with Bob the Builder. They changed Bob the Builder's design, and now it's weird now. I Yeah, I know. New, uh, classic Bob is definitely better than modern Bob. Yes. Bob the Builder has had a rough time ever since his, his change to the third dimension. <laughs> I kind of want to see, like, try to figure out, like, what... Because there's always the thing of, like, the, those kids series. is like, which one of them are good and which them are, like... Cause it's always hard to figure out, like, oh, which ones were, like, did you like as a kid? But which ones were actually good? Because, like, it's hard to kind of figure out which one of them, like, you would consider good or not. Like Bob the Builder... Like, like, I'm, like I'm trying to think of like oh like like the Nickelodeon like the Nick Jr. shows it's like Dora and Blue Clues it's like were were they actually good or were they just like, yes good Blue's Clues you remember? is legit good I love Blue Clues yeah I think Blue Clues like on <laughs> that on like reflection I think that one is genuinely good as a kids show but uh, I haven't figured out exactly if Dora is still is technically good or not um. I guess it depends on whether or not we're considering it like being entertaining is good or if being a good educational tool is the barometer we're going by or if it needs yeah. to hit both of those. And Ten Elements, Bear in the Big Blue House. Yes, that. Bear in the Big Blue House. I love that show. That's a cute one. Anything Jim Hen anything Jim Henson Company touched. Yeah, Sonic X didn't air on ZX in the US, but it did in Europe. I saw someone mention in chat. <laughs> Join us and fund the charity room as we debate the real issues, such as was Dora good? Was <laughs> Dora good? <laughs> so somebody put down like somebody put down by the Bugs Bunny and Tweety show. It's like that that, that, that that wouldn't count because that one is like that that that, that isn't part of like that kind of like kids show. Isn't that but, more of a compilation show? Well, I I mean in the sense like everybody knows Looney Tunes is good okay. and it's like and it goes that, that that's also the all ages type thing rather than like being specifically for kids, which is why like it it wouldn't really exactly count in the same way. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I, I did watch that all the time as a kid. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I saw someone mention in chat, Cyber Chase is definitely a good, I love that show. I think it's a good math show. Hey, you, you mentioned it, you mentioned uh, when you talked about PBS earlier, but yeah, Arthur. Yeah, I love Arthur. Mm. Between Arthur, the great. Lions is legit a uh, great kid show. Oh, that's a wholesome show, I love that show. Oh, and of course, Reading Rainbow. JJ the Jet Plane. No, no, JJ the Jet Plane is cursed. JJ the Jet Plane is not show. a good kid show. I'm gonna, no. I'm gonna go and throw that one out now. It's like I don't. I have not watched Thomas in a long enough time to say whether or not Thomas is actually a good show or not. But JJ the Jet Plane is Thomas if it were even more terrifying. Yeah, well, because Thomas has at least the charm of being uh, like. Real, British. real thing. Well, British, and also being real things. So it has that charm of like, oh, you're watching real like toys and real uh, like puppets and such, like doing these motions. While JJ is just all creepy CG mid mid two thousand CG. Do we have any new donations, Stefan? Uh, let me look. Mm, no. Oh, oh, yep. Yeah, uh, Go ahead. You want to uh, go? Yeah, go yeah. ahead. I'll do it. We have thirty dollars from Sirachi Jirachi. You could use Game Boy interface as an alternative to the GB Player disc. Plus, it has more superior performance over the disc software. Also, would Pikmin Two be a hundred percent, or as far as a specific point? It Lastly, is... put this towards Sonic Advance Three because God forbid that game gets outbid by the worst. IMO Advance Two. Okay, so it's not, it's uh, advanced, not advanced. Pikmin 2 is not going to be 100%. I'm going to throw that one out there right now. Um, that would take, that would probably, I would probably not be able, that's Yoshi's fault for the record. 
because Yoshi was supposed to be there, and then he decided, oh, I'm going to go lay an egg over here. And so, no, that one's on Yoshi. I'm not taking the blame for that one. Um, but second off, uh, Pikmin 2 will not be 100%, because I just, I honestly don't think that I could do that in, like, less than 20 hours. <laughs> so, um, we're not doing, we're not doing uh, Pikmin 2 100%. However, depending on how much money we raise by the time we uh, start, I will uh, go farther. Um, I'm not sure, um, I'm just gonna say right now, we've wa raised money way faster than I expected we were going to, so I'm gonna need to up my demands in response. So, um, I could probably tell you, um, uh, at, in a couple of days what I'm gonna need from you all for, to raise money for Louie, to save Louie for Pikmin 2. And also, uh, if we reach some outrageous amount of money, I will also do the uh, Water Wraith Dungeon as well, so that's something that I'm going to consider uh, for sure. But yeah, I can't give you firm numbers right now because, again, we've been smashing through donation uh, goals left, right, and center, so um, I'm not going to I'm not gonna cheap out on making myself miserable for you, uh, for you folks. <laughs> Oops. Um, was that the only donation? Yeah, that was the most okay. recent so one. So what's our total at now? Our uh, total is $7,756. Ooh, nice. All right, so um, all we've got five minutes left. I'll give chat the choice for the last game we play. I think we've played everything. Actually, you know what? No, we haven't done modern... We have not done modern parachute, so... Let's do, let's do that to finish stuff off. Wait, is that Donkey Kong Jr.? Just randomly dropping down like an asshole? Oh, no, no, they get eaten by big... Oh, uh, what? They get saved? Okay, no, we're not playing Modern Parachute. If they're gonna get saved from Big Bertha instead of getting eaten by the shark. This is censorship! This censorship is not going to... Is not going to stand. Alright, we're gonna play Classic Parachute. The game for real gamers. He said the the uh, the toad scream as they drown. Yeah, but they get saved. It's fine. Whoa! Whoa! <coughs> Ow! I can't Whoa. even do. I can't even do um, old toad voice right now. Jeez. Yeah, the Game and Watch Gallery uses DK Junior a lot. <laughs> That's really weird because this i guess was still the time when they were pretending dk jr still mattered i was like what late 90s yeah this was like 99 but i think it's also like, yeah since regular donkey kong was so linked to rare still at the moment so i think that was also uh i think that's also case yeah they, they, they tried to sneak in jr as much as they can but by like i think probably around a rare's buyout they're like yeah okay donkey kong's ours yeah and I think they also leaned into the fact that the modern Donkey Kong, for lack of a better word, was just more popular and recognizable than the classic Donkey Kong. Or at least Donkey Kong Jr. was not really something that they should go for when Diddy Kong was a much more popular character. Yeah, it's like you don't need Donkey Kong and Donkey Kong Jr. when you have Donkey Kong and uh, Diddy. Uh, I think also, uh, what is it? Wasn't the I know it's it's I don't know if it's been like completely for sure canon, but isn't it the whole thing like oh regular Donkey Kong is cranky and Donkey Kong Junior is modern Donkey Kong? Um, I thought that cranky was original Donkey Kong, but Donkey Kong Junior was modern Donkey Kong's dad. Hmm. Because okay, because in Yoshi's Island DS, there's baby Donkey Kong. Which I think is the modern Donkey Kong, and not Donkey Kong Jr. So, by the time Mario grows up, there would be, um... No, I guess he could be Don... You see, this is why Mario lore is dumb. Yeah, but yeah, because then, like, so is Jumpman, is he that actual Mario, or is maybe, is it... Is, it is like that Mario's dad? Mario? Is that Mario's dad? A game. Yeah, yeah because I said, like I said, their their all their last names would be Mario, so 
he he's Jumpman Mario, and then his son is Mario Mario. Hmm. Game theory? Game and watch theory? Ah. Uh... All right, we're gonna let these guys get uh, murdered by the sharks, and then I we're... love how happy the sharks look. Yeah, I just did die. Look at me. All right. So anyway, I'm gonna call it. I'm gonna call it a game and watch. There. I'm surprised we actually managed to play all the modes in here in an hour and fill up the whole time. That legitimately surprised me. All right. Anyway, coming up next is Mr. Mick Mick uh, Mick Conos fan. And he's going to be playing um, Star Fox 2. So see you all next for that. And yeah, thank you so much for your donations. Bye.